Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Uh, if you look at this function here, we have a nice looking function because we have a quadratic x squared that's in the exponent of the x. Okay, so now how do we find the derivative of this function? Um, you may say, so we use the power rule. We cannot use the power rule directly here. It's really because the exponent is not a constant. And we also cannot really use the uh, the rule for the expo uh, exponential function because the base is not a constant. Okay, so how do we do this problem? Um, there are two different ways that we can do this. They're actually quite similar. So I'm going to show you both ways for differentiating this function. So one of the ways is that we are going to first um, change this f of x into a y, right? So we have the function here, y is equal to x to the x squared. Okay, and then we are going to take the natural log on both sides of this equation here. So we are going to get ln of y, right? And then we are going to be getting ln of x raised to the x squared. Okay, so now there is a log property saying that we can bring the exponent to the front. So we are going to be getting ln of y, that's equal to x squared, and then ln of just the x. Okay, so this x squared that we have right here is being brought to the front using the log property. So we get the x squared, we have the ln of x, right? Once you bring the x squared to the front, then we have ln and then of the x. Remember, this is not multiplication, right? This is a function composition. We are putting the y inside the ln function. This is not ln times y. Okay, so make sure that you know that. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to use implicit differentiation because we are actually uh, defining y as a function of x. So now if we use implicit differentiation and differentiate the whole equation with respect to x, then what happens is that we are going to differentiate this L and y, which would give us 1 over, okay, so I use the wrong color here. So we are going to be getting um, 1 over y, right? And then you are going to get the y prime. Okay, so that's actually dy over dx, but we are not going to uh, put that. We are just going to use y prime here. Now on the right-hand side, it's just an expression entirely of x. Okay, so in this case, we are just going to differentiate with respect to x, just like how we usually take the derivatives. In this case, we have a product, so we would have to use the product rule. Okay, so also the, uh, um, the power rule, right, because of the x squared. So we are going to differentiate the first function, which is the x squared here, which will give us the 2x. Okay, so remember that there are actually two functions. One of them is the x squared, and the other one is the ln of x. Yeah, so the product rule tells you that you need to differentiate the first function, and then you do not touch the second one. So see that I'm just copying the ln function and then I'm differentiating the blue function here, the x squared, okay? And then what about the second term? The second term is that we are going to just copy the first function, which is the x squared right here. And then we are going to differentiate the ln function, which is one over x. Okay, so remember we are actually trying to find the derivative of f, right? Which is the same thing as y. So all we need to do is to solve for y prime here, and then we can get the derivative. So we are going to be getting y prime. And remember, you got to multiply both sides by the y, right? So you are going to be getting um, the y here, because you are going to be multiplying the y on both sides of the equation, so that you can cancel the 1 over y. So we multiply the by the y, we are going to get the y here, which is just the original function x to the x squared. So we are going to put that here, x, and then raised to the x squared. And then now the brackets, which is all this stuff. So that's what? That's going to be 2x ln of x, and then plus, now we can actually do a little bit of simplifying right here. Then we are going to cancel the x, and then that exponent, the square, becomes a 1. So we are just getting the x here. If you want, you can actually distribute this to both terms inside the brackets. So that's how we find a derivative for this problem. Now, let's actually do it another way. But first, um, 
before we do that, let's just recall something here. Okay, so let's just recall something. Okay, so what am I going to be recalling here is this. So let's say you have uh, an exponential expression, right? You have an, ex, uh, an expression in the exponential form, let's say a raised to the b, okay, for example. Then what happened is that we can actually rewrite it as e to the ln of a raised to the b. Okay, assuming that a and b are chosen so that this expression is defined. Okay, so now what's going on here? Remember that there is a log property that allows you to bring the b to the front of the ln, right? So if you do that, then you are going to be getting um, e to the b times ln of a. Remember that the a is inside the ln function. This is, again, this is not multiplication. It's not ln times a. It's ln of a and then times b. So between the b and the ln, we do have multiplication. Okay, so now... Um, we can use the same idea that we have here. So it's actually e raised to whatever exponent that you're getting, you put it in the front, and then you get the element of whatever base that you have, okay? So if you just look at this problem, um, we, can, we can just write it down like this. We can actually say that, we can actually say that the a, okay? A is actually the x. So in this case, the a is the x or this problem, okay? What about the b? The b is dx squared, okay? So the b is dx squared. Okay, so now instead of keeping it in this form, we are going to write it in this form. So our problem actually becomes, okay? So we have x raised to the x squared and Actually, let me just use um, the same color to represent them. So we get the x right here, and then the blue color is the x squared here, okay? Now remember the a is the x, right? So, and then the b is the x squared. So now when you're writing it in this form, then we are going to be getting e to the b, and b is x squared, right? b is x squared, so we put the x squared here, And then we have ln of, uh, what is that? That's going to be a. So a is just dx. So we're going to put the x here. Okay, so now that one looks like the exponential function. And then you are putting in the x squared times ln of x, the product of x squared and the ln of x inside the exponential function. You are doing function composition here. So now we can use the rule for differentiating the exponential function. So now let's just do that. So f prime of x, okay, f prime of x is that we are going to differentiate this first, which is just when you're differentiating the outermost function, um, we are going to differentiate the exponential function, the, the one with the base e, then we're just going to copy the, the whole function. So we get e x squared ln of x, okay? Now, the chain rule tells us that we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is this thing here. And this thing, as you can see, is exactly the x squared ln of x. That's exactly this portion right here, and we already did the work here. So we are just going to copy this work right here. Then we are getting 2x ln of x plus x times 1 over x. Oh, actually, that's x squared. Okay. And then we're going to do the canceling just like uh, when we did it using the other way. Okay, so continuing with the simplifying here, we get e to the x squared ln of x. And simplifying all this stuff in here, then we are going to be getting the bracket 2x ln of x plus x. And then now you can see that the answers are different. It's really just the stuff on the outside that look different, right? But look at this. This e to the x squared ln of x is actually just our original function. So all we need to do is to replace this expression using our original function. Well, they're basically the same function. So now we do get 
the same answer here. Okay, so that's that. Which way do you like better? Please leave me a comment and tell me that, right? If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. Okay, and then also, uh, if you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. And also, if you have uh, an opinion on which method that you like better, also please leave me a comment, right? That's really helpful for me. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you.